So we're here at the Paris Air Show 2015, which uh, once again has been largely dominated by the commercial aerospace industry um, and the annual battle between Boeing and Airbus uh, over who can rack up the most billion dollar orders during the week. Um, on the military front, the, there has been a noticeably reduced military footprint uh, around the show, although we have seen um, some aircraft flying in the form of the NH-90, the Rafale, the JF-17 um, and the A400M. Walking around the static displays, the pressures on the defence budgets in recent years was really illustrated by the number of armed reconnaissance light attack aircraft that were on display um, rather than the more high-end fighter aircraft. Um, some examples of this include the uh, IOMAX's Archangel armed reconnaissance platform, um, as well as Textron Aviation with its Beechcraft AT6, which it has now renamed the Wolverine to aid the marketing efforts of that aircraft. In terms of helicopters, we saw the T129 attack helicopter on display by Turkish Aerospace Industries. Airbus Helicopters also created quite a stir with details of its X6 project, which will ultimately replace the H225. Um, the company also revealed that the H160 had taken its first flight earlier in the week, although this was somewhat overshadowed by the details of the X6, and also by the fact that the uh, news of the first flight had already been leaked on social media. There was also plenty of innovation on display. Uh, among these were a new crash-tolerant UAV called the Gimbal. Among the, the more unusual sites was a personal jetpack um, that can be flown either in manned or unmanned configuration. Martin Aircraft Company have, has already stalled around 150 personal jetpacks. If that wasn't sci-fi enough, also on display was the hoverbike, which is a cross between a motorcycle and a helicopter to create what the company describes as the world's first flying motorcycle. But of course that's just some of what we saw at the Paris Air Show. Uh, for more, feel free to explore our website. We hope you enjoyed the coverage and we'll see you at the next Paris Air Show.